So you've sent out your form and people have been answering and now it's time to analyze the results. So how can you do that? I'm logged into a Google Skills survey. I'm actually behind the scenes in the working view of the survey and normally I would spend most of my time on this questions view building out my questions. But now since the survey is out and people have answered I can switch to the responses view where I have a summary view or I can view each record individually for each person by clicking these numbers here and working my way through respondent by respondent. But the summary view is great because it gives you the answers that people submitted and depending upon what question type you asked the bar graph or pie graph will look a bit uh, different from each other. So here these were all multiple choice questions. Let me see if I can show you what it might look like for some of the other question types. Okay here's another back uh, behind the scenes. So this was a um, Actually, this was a multiple choice question or it might have been a drop down. I think this one was a drop down. So you can see that it's in a pie chart. This happened to be a checkbox question. So you can see how that's summarized there. These were the free response paragraph. And then this was another um, um, multiple choice option. So in essence, what I'm saying is that summary view is really nice because it just gives you a quick review of all of the answers. Um, now, if you want to get a little bit more advanced and viewing the responses on this screen is not quite doing it for you, you have another option to send the responses to um, a spreadsheet and I'll show you how that works. So let me start up a new form really quickly here. Click blank and I'm going to title this form uh, Lunchroom Survey. All right, you have to make sure that you have a title here because this title is going to transfer itself over to the spreadsheet. So let's click responses. And you know what, let me just quick add a couple questions here. So we have one question is, uh, you know, favorite main course. And we've got some options. Let's add another one, favorite dessert. And we'll add one more. We'll change this to a paragraph. Uh, describe your ideal lunch. Okay, so I've got three questions here. <clears throat> and I want to send the responses to those questions over to a spreadsheet. So let's click responses. Click the spreadsheet icon. And now I have the option to send the responses to a new Google Sheet. See how it takes on the exact same name as the form? It also appends the word responses to the file name. When you click create, Google Sheets opens up and you see that each column represents your question types. It will automatically collect timestamp on its own. What's neat about uh, sending the responses to a spreadsheet is that if you know anything about spreadsheet tools either with Google Sheets or Excel you see there's a lot of power here to manipulate that data further so you have all of the tools available in these menus to manipulate that data um, if you happen to be an Excel junkie you can click file and download this spreadsheet as an Excel file and then use Excel's own tools further. But either way, it's a nice extra option to do more with those um, responses. So in summary, when you get the answers back, you'll see those on the responses sheet, either in a summary view or individual view, or you have the option to export them to a spreadsheet. Here, it is worth mentioning that once you have linked the responses to a spreadsheet, every time you collect an answer from a new survey taker, until you unlink the spreadsheet from this form, the answers will keep dumping into that same spreadsheet. So if, for example, I want to use this survey again next year, next year at the same time, I'm going to unlink the form from the old spreadsheet by unlinking, and then I'm going to redirect it to a new spreadsheet and maybe I'll change the file name a little bit and put this year on there. And that way then this year's answers won't keep dumping onto the same spreadsheet as last year's answers. So that's how you can control that using the unlink. Or another way of doing it is to select 
the destination for these answers and you get the same um, window option here. All right, one final quick mention as long as we're at this spot is that a really cool option for you is that if you turn on get email notifications, every time a survey taker or a form taker submits a form, you will get an email response. So sometimes that's great, sometimes it's not so great depending on how many emails you get, but that's where this is controlled.